Hey y'all, what's going on? Welcome to the Lion's Den. I am Camille and I will be doing the weekly tarot for all of the water signs. Now that's Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. You guys, this is going to be your weekly tarot for March 29th through April the 4th. Keep in mind, you guys, this is an intuitive reading, so I want you to take what resonates and leave the rest, and I pray that it's something that you do gain from this reading because you're here watching, so if you're here watching, there is something, something you need to hear and you need to know. All right, angels, ancestors, spirit, guides, and God, what do all water signs need to know for March 29th through April the 4th? Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. What do they need to know? All right, angel spirit guys. What do they need to know? Oh, water signs. I am on water sign rising. I am a Cancer. My rising sign is Cancer. All right. I would definitely encourage you all to check out your astral dietist charts and see what houses and signs affect you most while you're living your life. It's definitely helpful. All right. Okay, you guys. The angels, ancestors, and God wants you all to know water signs. Get more information. So whatever you're wanting to learn, learn about, got to do some more research. Got to do some more homework. All right. Let's pull some tarot. Get some tarot to that. Thank you, ancestors, spirit guides. What do water signs need to know? What more information does water signs need to know? What do they all need to know? All right. Water signs need to know. All right, you all. So, water sign, your current situation. Five of Wands. Oh, mental tuck of war. Now, what's driving you? The star. All right, major arcana. You want success. You want to be that shining star bright. It's time to make it happen. What's benefiting you? Debt. Got to let something go. Got to cut the ties. Now, what's crowning you? The page of swords. All right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now that's you. That's air energy. What's the outcome? Or excuse me, we on water. Moon, the moon. I apologize, water signs. That's water. That's air energy. That's Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. But we got the moon, which is represented by, I believe, Cancer. All right. So you guys, let's go ahead and get into this reading. Get more information, water signs. The situation you're asking about requires more information in order for you to make a wise decision. Approach those knowledgeable up about the topic to solicit their advice. If there are friends or family members in your midst who have insight into the matter, ask for their observations. You may need to do some analytical research in order to get the data you need. This could include reading books, taking classes or seminars, or gathering information from the internet, okay? Because now you're moving into the five of wands, mental tug of war, all right? You got, you're fighting yourself. Now that's fire energy, Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. It seems you're embroiled in a sort of mental tug of war where conflict, competition, and pointless bickering may be pulling you to pieces. Regardless of who started it, and it was obviously definitely someone else, you can do your part to end it by opening your earballs and listening without judgment, then doing your best to move forward gracefully past this moment. In other words, drop the rope and everyone's a winner. Here's the affirmation. It's all right if I'm not right. I'd rather move on without a fight. 
if only just to spite. Okay, because now you're moving on to the stars. Time to shine bright. Now look at that major arcana. You got three major arcana. 18, 13, and 17. Wow, 17 and 18 are, are consecutive numbers. Make sure you look those up. The angel number meanings, okay? The star, like the OG version of Pound Blast. This card unleashes a meteor shower of celestial gifts, gifts and restores your glowing faith in the universe. Shake hands with magic and let it mainline some prescription gray, warm and fuzzies straight into your crown chakra. You'll remember what a radiant star you are and won't stand for anyone trying to dim that light. Now go find your car keys and you can head out and shine bright. Here's the affirmation. I open my heart and enjoy this magical time of hope, inspiration, and renewal. Why? What's everyone else up to? Because now you're moving on to death. So it's time to let that fear go. Now that's number 13. This poor guy is off misunderstood. So before turning death from your doorstep, no, he usually signifies a metaphorical death as opposed to a literal one. Phew, a major shift or rebirth is about to take place, but not until there's a final wrap on some aspect of your current situation. This may come as a relief. Woohoo, I hated that job. Or be somewhat daunting like, but wait, there was a gym in the office. Or it could be a bit of both. Either way, you can trust that this end is for your highest good and most awesome potential. After all, in order to become a butterfly, a caterpillar must first clean out his desk and turn in his parking pass. Here's the affirmation. I move on to the next phase of my life with ease, trust, and a greater respect for the courage of caterpillars. All right, because now you're moving on to the page of swords. Time to get that work done. Get to work. Now that is air energy. The Page of Swords ushers in a new challenge focused on words and ideas. Interpreted literally, this could mean you just started writing a novel or perhaps accepted a job as an etymology professor. But, but more often than not, it simply means you're facing a big, big task and you're about to wet your pants with either fear or excitement. Harness this anxious energy and use it. Sure, your brain is abuzz with an unruly swarm of thoughts, but the right shaped funnel can pour them into your work in a constructive way. Craft your ideas with care and discipline and you'll have nothing to fear except those pee pee pants. Here's the affirmation. I fear nothing. I'll conquer everything. I won't stop for anything. Now you're moving on to your outcome, which is the moon. So whatever is hidden will definitely come to the light. It will be illuminated. The moon glows because it's reflecting the light of the sun. In that way, it's a symbol of our shadow sides and less illuminated unconsciousness. This celestial messenger often means something in your life isn't quite what it seems. And it's your job to put it under the microscope of truth. The moon is a warning against the projection of illusions, both good and bad. Things might not be as good as they seem, but they might not be as bad either. Tap into your intuition and let yourself move through any confusion as gently as possible. Eventually, the sun will rise. Awareness will dawn. And you can look back with fondness on the journey you took through the murky depths of your anxiety-ridden underbelly. Ah, here's the affirmation. I take a deep breath and ground myself in the present. Daydreams are fun, but they're not authentic reality. And that means they're not invited to this mental barbecue. All right, all right, water sign. So let's go ahead and get into this reading. Get more information. Whatever you're wanting to know, whatever ideas you have, you got to do some research, okay? Get some research done. Look into whatever it is that you're wanting to get done because it takes you to get the insight. And if you need help, ask your friends and family. Some of them may know, you know what I'm saying? And now coming into your reading, 
with this five of swords, you got to get out of your own head. Okay. You are your own worst enemy. You could be the one dimming your own light. Why do that? That's what's driving you. Let your light shine. Okay. Let it go. Let it go. Whatever your mental block that is blocking you and keeping you held back, it's time to let it go. Let that crumble because it was never serving you. It's keeping you in that box, okay? Because you got a big task ahead of you, all right? You got a major, major task coming for y'all, all right, water sign? So you got to be ready because it's coming to light. It's coming to light. Once you go within, everything is coming to light. So just trust yourself, all right? Get more information. Get out your own head. Stop dimming your own light and start shining bright. Get those car keys. Start your mind and go, 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 go. You got what it takes, all right? All right, water signs. I want to thank you so much for coming. I want to thank you for watching. Make sure you follow me on Lions Den Tarot. Make sure you hit that bell on YouTube so that way you can see all the videos that I upload. And just make sure that you are just staying focused, staying happy, and going for your goals, water signs. That's Cancer Scorpio, Pisces, you. Have a beautiful and blessed day. Get inspired.